so much vikram for connecting with us on ott play thank you for having me akela so your late uh, web series rudra is out and it has been receiving great responses it has become one of the most viewed shows on uh, hotstar as well how do you feel to be a part of it i feel i feel really blessed you know that i have been given this opportunity to be part of such a massive series and uh, i couldn't i think god has been really kind for giving me this opportunity and that to uh, pairing opposite ajay devgan sir i think that's once in a lifetime opportunity i'm i'm really happy for whatever i got did you expect this kind of a response when you were doing it honestly speaking no i didn't expect any kind of response because there were actors like atul gulkarni sir ashwini kelkar ma'am isha deol rashi khanna ajay devgan all big names in the industry you know and uh, i was very happy that i got a part to play in this web series but when after the web series got launched and i could read some of the reviews my just mentioning of my name gave me immense satisfaction oh my work is getting recognized and i was really really happy about that and you play a very complex character as well someone suffering from ptsd so uh, how yeah. do you prepare for it uh, did you have any references uh, in your own personal life or someone you knew who was suffering from it so thankfully uh, in my personal life i had no such issues because uh, you know it's it's a very complex uh, thing to have in in your life uh, to bear it in real life so my director rajesh mapuskar sir he really gave me a brain brief about how shokan kose uh, the character is and i got a break of around 2 months before covid uh, because of covid you know and that phase i prepared for the character i saw some documentaries on uh, uh, how war veterans are once they have ptsd issues and i saw some documentaries on abused childhood so there, there was a lot of material on youtube and other sources where i got to know about the lives of uh, people who go through this uh, ptsd and having an abused childhood so ashok nikose was that kind of character who had suffered abuse from his father and uh, you know had a lot of trauma so just basic understanding of that and then yeah i uh, in the script itself there was a lot of material to create a back story of ashok nikose and that's how we got about it okay and you had shared a picture on instagram with mr ajay devgan calling it a fanboy moment so how was yeah, it like yeah. working with him so it was a fanboy so was moment a every day on the set Yes, yes, it was a great experience because um, you know when I started, I was just thinking about this that I'll go meet Ajay sir. I, there's so much to learn from him in terms of acting. He's a great, a great actor, and I would uh, learn so so many things when I'll be shooting with him. But once the shoot was over, I think I learned more than just uh, how good he actor. is i love that how good a person ajay sir is in a real life he's so humble grounded down to earth and i think he's he's enlightened he's he's in a divine state where he's always smiling you know very gentle towards his co-actors and very humble and he made sure that there is not even a minimal bit of intimidation from him side but well, he was he was very sweet very sweet to me so you didn't have to do anything to break the ice nothing in fact i when they are just say hi sir how are you and then he from himself he shook hands and he is like uh, how are you and he started speaking about the character about how we going to do it let's improvise let's let's just don't follow the script uh, as it is let's create something new so all of that was helpful. he he himself broke the ice okay and you have done up a few tv shows as well and many actors say that it helps you prepare to work on other mediums especially ott mm-hmm. uh, since tv right. is very hectic and involves hours of uh, shooting every day and for years so was it mm-hmm. was have uh, ott been like a breath of fresh air for you as well yes of course and uh, this is not my first ott uh, i have done uh, 
Chhattisgarh, uh, which was another Hotsa project before this, and then I did Barish, Barish also. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So definitely, uh, it is a breather, and uh, TV does help because we uh, we get long pages of script. We just read them and go shoot them. So learning lines is never a uh, you know hindrance for us when it comes to web. We don't do too many scenes in a day, so we can really prepare the tech well. There, it's it's a it's a different ball game altogether when it comes okay. to. Okay. And you have ex- okay. And you have worked on different mediums, uh, TV, OTT, and films, yeah. music videos. So which one do you find the most challenging would it be tv or so i think everything is challenging when because uh, you just don't want to go out there and read the lines you really have to work on the character and uh, somehow uh, bring something which is interesting which is engaging which uh, attracts or uh, the audience so uh, that is the challenge what every actor faces and it's tv films or web series whatever lines or whatever character that we have we have to build around a certain kind of uh, you know uh, engaging performance around it so that everyone likes it okay and uh, you have been part of barish as well and there are these lots of speculations mm. which say that there is going to be a part 3 season of mm. the show so mm. any confirmation any update on that front I haven't got anything as of now, but I'll be really excited to be part of it if the season three comes. I loved first two seasons uh, more so because of the lovely cast, the crew that we had in uh, Barish. They all are my dear friends, and I'll be really excited to be meeting them again if that happens. Okay. Uh, what are the other projects that you are working on currently? Anything uh, at the moment? So I've. so there are a couple of projects i have been shortlisted for and uh, uh, the talks are ongoing but i can't reveal much you know as you know that there are policies that unless uh, they have a marketing strategy for it so once things are out you'll get to know many actors also say that ott has given kind of a second chance to them not just to uh, actors even the film makers and uh, there right. has been a, this boom of this particular medium especially during the pandemic what do you right, have to right. say about that i think this is the best era that we creative people are staying in because you know uh, you have the opportunity in web you have the opportunity in films you have the opportunity in uh, tv be it writer director uh, producers who can bring in new projects so i think uh, this is the best phase that we are like uh, the ipl has done to cricketers I think web series have to access and other creative people. Okay, and I believe you have studied law, and uh, your initial idea was to move to Mumbai to work in a law firm. So, how did right. acting happen? So, uh, I always had the actor in me because I, the only thing I was really good at in school was dramatics, and uh, I always wanted to. do something in this field but then i also made sure you know that i have a certain kind of uh, uh, degree to uh, sustain in life in case this and work so i went abroad i did law and i started working for a legal company i could just couldn't take that uh, leap of faith you know uh, when it came to acting it was late but yeah one final day i decided no i think like now is the time when i should try it and when i was uh, in mumbai working for a legal firm weekends i started giving auditions and monday to friday i used to work and then saturday i used to give auditions and then thankfully by god's grace i got my uh, first opportunity and from there on rest is history i quit my job and now i'm full time actor and there is this ongoing debate about uh, censorship on ott as well so what do you hmm. have to say about that <clears throat> i think every creative person should be given freedom of expression freedom to show his work or her work and uh, uh, ott has come as a blessing where so many writers you know if we live at a time in a uh, at a era where you know there shouldn't be such restrictions i would say when we talk about 
the population of India, it's one of the highest population of India and we haven't come from anywhere. So we have to talk about it, you know, how things happen. So if these things are shown in web series, I don't think so that, you know, there should be any issue about it because uh, uh, we are showing the real sense of uh, creativity here what exactly the creative what exactly the story is you don't want to hide or you know fabricate things and then show it so ODT should be given that freedom okay thank you thank you so much for connecting with us it's a pleasure speaking to you and all the best for your future project same here same here thank you so much for having me